So here we are looking at a Samsung Plasma TV. We are going to take a look at the different boards on the back of the Plasma TV and describe what each, uh, what each board is responsible for and the common problems or symptoms that can be shown by a TV and which board is most likely responsible for those problems and symptoms. Some of the boards will overlap with these problems and symptoms. So, so there could be multiple boards that could cause no image on the screen or other symptoms like that. After viewing this video, you may have a better idea of which board is causing the symptoms on your TV. Please be sure to comment below the video and share with us your TV model number and the symptoms and we may be able to recommend a board or a fix to get your TV working again. So the first part we're going to look at is the power supply which is right here. The power supply takes in and distributes power throughout the TV. This board is either directly connected to your AC power cord or is connected to the AC adapter. Some common problems that can happen with your power supply is that you have a dead set where your TV doesn't turn on and you have no standby at all. Then you know that you aren't getting any power to the TV. You could have a situation where you do have standby but you can't get the TV to turn on. That could also be caused from your power supply. You could have a bad power supply also if your fuse blows. This power supply has a few different fuses. If you replace the fuse or fuses as some have multiple and you plug the TV back in and that fuse blows right away on the power supply then you know that there's something else wrong with a different component on that power supply. The main board which is located over here typically manages your accessory inputs and outputs and houses the TV tuner. So this control, this is what sends the signal from your HDMI ports, your RCA connectors, your VGA input, all your different inputs go through here and then are connected elsewhere on the board to get the picture on the screen. If the set in total restarts on its own without you doing anything, it could be your main board that is causing that. If you're having issues with the video on the screen, it could be a connection here or the main board that is not allowing you to have the full resolution or clear image. And again, if any of these inputs don't seem to be working with your TV, it could be a bad connection here. The first thing I would recommend you do is take your source video. So let's say you have a Blu-ray player connected to this HDMI port. Take that Blu-ray player and connect it to a different TV and make sure that the Blu-ray player is working fine. If you then find out that it's working fine and connect it back to this TV, then you'll know that the main board has a problem or this connection has a problem because the Blu-ray player works fine. The Y sustain, which is located right here, can also be called a Y sus board, a Y main board, and an SC board. So the Y sustain here connects your PDP assembly through a buffer system, most commonly known as a Y buffer or scan drive, which is right here. Some common symptoms of a bad Y sustain. The TV shuts down and power cycles. So that would be your TV turns off and then turns back on again and then turns back off and such. So it's running through a power cycle. If you have no picture on the screen, this could also be the Y sustain. Or if you have a dark picture on the screen. If you have a flashing screen with shadowy sections, this could be the Y sustain. If your TV makes a popping noise, which is usually quite loud, and then you have no picture on the screen. This could be caused from the Y sustain. So the Y buffer can also be known as a Y scan drive. This Y buffer again is what connects the Y sustain to the panel. These orange colored connections right here are built into the actual TV panel and then are what connect to the Y buffer. So if you have a problem with any of these ribbon cables here, they will not be repairable as they are connected right into the panel. A common symptom of a bad Y buffer board is if you have black horizontal lines running across your entire screen. They would run all the way from one side to the other. Over here we have the X sustain board. Some common terms for the X sustain board is X sus, X main, Z sus, Z sustain, and SS board. Some common symptoms that your TV is showing that could be the Z sustain is you will typically have a picture of some kind on the screen, but it tends to look very red or purpley. The picture could be very dark and flash a little bit. You could be getting slow motion effects on the TV 
as the panel isn't charging and discharging pixels correctly. So that could be some common problems. That could be your X sustain. Next, we are going to take a look at the logic board. This board can also be referred to as the main logic control board, the control board, and the logic main. The logic board is connected to the main board and address buffers via flat ribbon cables and can sometimes be hidden underneath the main board. One symptom that could be a logic control is if you have no picture on the screen. Another would be if your image has lines or defects in it, or you have solid colored vertical bars going from top to bottom on the screen. Along the bottom here of the chassis on the uh, plasma TV are address buffers. In some older and larger plasma TVs, you also have address buffers up here on the top of the TV. Some manufacturers will refer to the address buffers as logic buffers as well. And some companies will also give each buffer a different identification letter, typically starting with the letter C. A few symptoms that could be the address buffers is if you have no picture on your screen or if you have a blown fuse on the buffers. Thanks for watching our plasma TV video. If you're having a problem with your TV, just a reminder that you can post a comment in the comment section below this video. Please be sure to include your TV model number and the symptoms that your TV is showing, and we will respond to an answer with the question on what we think is the best fix for your problem. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.